everyone and welcome back to my channel you know guys originally i was planning to make a tropical butterfly doll today i've bought silk i've bought all kinds of special paints to paint on silk and i was planning to make a super colorful butterfly doll with natural silk wings painted with all kinds of gradients but you know, after three short days of real spring here in Belgium, we're unfortunately back to plus six degrees. And yesterday it was even snowing here. So you know, I don't really feel like making a tropical butterfly anymore. We will keep this project somewhere more, I don't know, for real spring or for the summer. And today we will make a moth doll because I still want to make some sort of a butterfly. I still want to try this painting on silk technique, but I just don't feel like making anything colorful today, vice versa, I want to make something very, I don't know, monochromatic or maybe even achromatic today, because we are going to use mostly no, no, gradients of grey, maybe a little bit of brown, maybe a little bit, I don't know, another pale color, like very pale pink or very pale blue, but mostly it will be very, yeah, greyish, white, very pale, no, yeah, like a moth, you can imagine, like, <laughs> what kind of a girl I'm going to make, uh, planning to make a moth doll. So, I'm actually very excited about this project, suddenly, like it was such a switch from a colorful butterfly to this almost black and white moth doll. But I actually really love this idea because, let's be honest, there are a lot of butterfly dolls in the world and I haven't seen that many moth dolls. I don't know, have I seen any? Maybe yes, but for sure they're less popular than regular colorful butterfly dolls. So it's gonna be a very interesting project, I think. Let's start working. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. Uh, yes, the next week it will be a video for sure. I'm also already quite on the late stages of the project and then it probably will be a week break for me so anyway hit the bell button to get notified when i'm ready with my new dolls and of course support my art here on youtube with your likes and i'm going to start working so as a model for our makeover i will use this frankie doll she would look super cute as a little moth i think so now let's undress her cut her hair off and then we'll warm her head up with a hair dryer to make it soft and easily removable Now let's pull out all the nasty glue from the inside of the head. And then we can remove her face with pure acetone. I want to give her this beautiful, very light gray hair. And for this I will first cover the head with a couple of layers of gray acrylic paint. And 
and now we can take my rerouting tool that is actually just an exacto knife with a needle instead of a razor made it myself very happy about it and now with this tool i will place strands of gray hair into her head Okay, the hair looks finished, now let's put some good amount of tacky glue inside of the head, then I will let it dry for a day, and then we can start drawing her face after spraying it with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. First of all, I want to turn her skin tone from green to very very pale nude one. We will do it with soft pastels and first of all I'm applying two layers of light red or pink pastels to neutralize the green color. And you can see now how perfectly this light red pastels have neutralized the light green skin color. So now I can take light peach pastels, a little bit the brownish ones, and I will create a new skin tone for her. And when I'm happy with the way her skin tone looks, I start drawing the face using watercolor pencils. I want her face to be super pale, really no bright colors, she should look like one of those, you know, see-through night butterflies or some other night insects. I just want to give her light blue eyeshadows because it would make her skin even more kind of thin and transparent looking. And you know what, even her eyelashes I want to make white, I think they would look really good on her. And we can also add a touch of pale pink blush. Ok, 
Okay, I think I want to stop here with the face. It looks super interesting and unusual for me. And now we can work on her body because we've reached quite a big difference after applying just three or four layers of soft pastels. So now let's do the same thing to her body. But first of all, we need to sand it with nail buffers to remove this gloss from the surface. And then we'll seal it with Mr. Super Clear. Okay, now the face and the body look good next to each other and now I want to make the wings because I'm really not sure if it would work this painting on silk. Maybe I would have to change my plans and make the wings simply out of warbler. I have no idea, like I have no idea how it's gonna go. So right now I'm going to try to paint moth wings on this natural silk fabric. I've bought a set of paint for silk, downloaded from internet and printed a big moth picture. So now I will stretch the silk on this old picture frame and then we'll start painting. First of all, I want to outline the wings and all the separate sections of the wings with a special product that keeps this very liquid fabric paint from spreading around. And then I will start drawing the patterns of the wings with the actual silk paint. The outside of the wings I will paint black because I might need to turn in the edges of them to stop the trimming, so better have this outside also black. So I let it dry overnight and now let's see how it looks if we unpin it. Oh wow guys, <laughs> it feels like some real butterfly wings, super lightweight and even a little bit like crunchy, really very cool. 
Now let's probably cut them out, leaving, I don't know, about one centimeter around if I decide to turn in the edges. Okay, I've cut out the wings and you know it doesn't really look like these edges are supposed to trim in the future. I think this uh, borderline product kind of sealed the edges really nice. So I will cut off these edges as well because turning in all these raw sides would make the wings much heavier and you know making so many holes on the sides it's absolutely not needed here. I will leave just a small part on top of the head of the butter because this is where we will connect the wings to the future outfit. So the wings are finished and I'm more than happy about it. They feel really like butterfly wings and the painted patterns look really good so now let's make a dress for her and I want to use this lace trim for it and actually it will be quite an easy dress to make because this beautiful layered lace trim will make, I don't know, actually 75% of the job for us so first of all I'm making a skirt by sewing a piece of lace into a loop and then gathering the top of it using an elastic thread Voila, the skirt is finished and I've actually made two gathered skirts like this but one of them will become a top. We just need to cut off a couple of layers of the lace to make it shorter. Like this it will be good probably. Then I cut two holes for her arms. Then I add a light grey ribbon to her waist and the outfit is finished I think. It looks really cute and it's definitely beginner's friendly one so you can actually try to make one at home. So and now let's make a pair of shoes out of Warbler Thermoplastic.
the shoes I want to paint with grey acrylics and the soles I want to make silver. And then I'm taking these tiny silicone molds that normal people use to make nail decorations and I will make a couple of moth looking butterflies using the nail building gel. So here they are, they look super cute and now we can attach them to the shoes. And now I think our shoes are finished, let's put them on a doll and then I'll make some cool headpiece for her. But no, wait, actually before making the headpiece, I want to style her hair first, because I've already almost forgotten about this step, but I'm not planning anything special this time, I just want her hair to hang down in a decent way. Yeah, like this I think it will be good, I'm really not planning anything too complicated today. So, I will let her hair like this, now we can attach the false lashes, I'm going to use white false lashes as well, and add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips, and then we'll go for a head decoration. And you know, all these night butterflies, they have quite spooky faces, let's be honest. They're beautiful and creepy at the same time. So I want to add this element of creepy beauty to my doll as well. And that's why I've decided to make a skull hat decoration. I think it would make her look, I don't know, like some priestess of the woods or something like this and I'm totally not against this effect so I've printed out a beautiful ram skull using my 3D printer washed it with acetone, cured it and now before we start painting it I want to add a couple of pins that would keep the skull on the top of my doll's head and I will use sticky warbler thermoplastic for it
So here are the pins and they work really perfectly holding the skull on a doll. And now we can finally paint the skull with acrylics and apply some shadows with soft pastels. And here is the mod head decoration, it looks very cool, I think. I should make more dolls with skulls and horns. So and now I still need to attach the wings to the dress and I was first thinking about attaching some ribbon to the wings. But you know, they're so lightweight and so delicate that I simply don't want to sew anything on them, making them thicker and making multiple holes in this material. So I would simply attach them to the dress with a couple of pins. And actually one of these butterflies that I have left after making her shoes, I can use as a decoration for her dress. So, and here is finally my very special moth princess. I really love the vibe of this doll because she looks a little bit sleepy and very gentle, very fragile. The wings look very cool. I definitely want to experiment some more with painting on silk. The next time we will try to make some pretty colorful gradients on wings because I still hope that the weather would bring me my tropical butterfly fantasy back. Come on, summer, I'm waiting here. Here. Yeah, and we also need more dolls with animal skulls on their heads because it looks pretty cool on them. So if you have any good ideas for this kind of a project, please share it with us in the comments under this video. Well, and this doll is now available for sale on eBay, so if you were thinking about getting one of my dolls, please check out the link in the description box under this video, maybe this one is waiting for you. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please, guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you already very soon next week Friday in my new Dory Paint video. Love you guys. Bye.